Hey, Larkin Rose here. And every once in a while, I still hear people talking about the brave men and women of law enforcement. And whenever I hear that, I think, what the hell are you talking about? Now, yes, I have seen brave men and women of law enforcement on TV shows and in movies, but then I've also seen dinosaurs and aliens on TV shows and in movies. Doesn't necessarily mean they actually exist in the real world. So I think to myself, from my own experience and secondhand experiences and, and other evidence I have, do I actually see any indication that there is really such thing as the brave men and women of law enforcement? Well, let me start with firsthand things. Now, this may just be anecdotal, not necessarily scientific proof of anything, but I don't recall ever in my life seeing anyone with a badge doing anything that I thought was actually brave. Now, I'm sure it happens. I mean, there are so many cops, just statistically, some of them must be doing something brave somewhere. But in my own experience, I don't recall ever seeing firsthand a cop doing anything I considered brave. I have, however, seen them acting like complete cowards constantly. Uh, for example, the one time I've called a cop in the last years and years and years, I can't even count how many, and the only time I would ever call a cop was because another cop, another control freak government agent, was breaking the law. In that case, an IRS agent was trespassing on my parents' property. No warrant, no subpoena, and wouldn't leave. And we told her to leave and she wouldn't. So I said I was going to call the local cops, and I did, and they showed up. And he didn't even have the courage to tell her, if you don't have a search warrant, you have to leave, even though that's the law. Instead, he stood around like a complete freaking wuss and let someone violate the law right in front of him. So yeah, not a great example of brave men and women of law enforcement. All he had to do was tell her, you're not allowed to be here, you have to leave. And he wouldn't even do that because he's a spineless freaking coward. Now. Another personal experience was when I was doing tree work over in New Jersey and a bunch of fascists show up to get in the way, interfere with the work I was doing perfectly safely, perfectly efficiently, better than anybody else would have done it, got in the way and at the end tried to steal some money from me and issue me a ticket for doing tree work perfectly safely and doing it well. Uh, and by the way, no, I will never do anything useful in New Jersey again. People's Republic of New Jersey can just rot in hell, for all I care. Um, and what makes that particularly interesting was not that they just, that there were like half a dozen cops getting in the way and interfering and being useless. It's that we were less than a mile away from Camden where actual crime is happening. And obviously these little piggies were much more interested in standing around like idiots for hours looking at me cleaning up a tree I had just taken down than they were in actually going maybe doing something brave and stopping an actual criminal, you know, from actually hurting an actual victim. So yeah, that wasn't exactly a shiny example of the bravery of the men and women in blue. Then there was when they illegally detained my daughter, who was 16 at the time, and some of her friends for walking down the road, or not even down the road, walking down the path late at night, which isn't illegal, and there was no complaint, and they weren't being loud, and they weren't doing anything, but a whole bunch of cops decided to harass them and stop them, illegally detain them, um, they were all minors, uh, illegally question them, try to illegally search them, and then illegally held my daughter in the back of a cop car for 20 minutes without even accusing her of doing anything wrong. They said, oh, we'll give her a ride home, which meant we'll leave her in the back of our cop car for 20 minutes until we went and got her. And they behaved like complete freaking cowards. And these weren't like troublemaker kids that, oh, you have to be scared of. They were like nice, polite, passive kids um, that they like bullying around because on a power trip. So yeah, not a lot of bravery there. I would have to say. And of course, I've seen what most of you have seen, which is along the side of the highway, the road pirates. Uh, like, there's the TV version of what cops do, which is throw themselves in harm's way to protect the innocent. Then there's the real version of what they do, which is spend most of their time fishing for excuses to steal money from normal people who aren't hurting anybody uh, in order to give that money to their political masters. And so you'll see two or three cop cars behind somebody on the road pull them over for not having the right sticker on their car. Not exactly the sign of bravery. Um, and that's not 
doesn't necessarily mean that every cop is a coward, and sometimes they do good things. Oh, goody, a, a cop rescued a kitten from a tree. All right, well, good for you, but that's not exactly a great act of bravery. So I want to hear from people. If you've actually firsthand seen a cop do something brave, I do want you to say it. And like I said, there's so many cops, some of them must have done something brave at some point. But the, the PR and the propaganda you see on TV of them constantly being brave and throwing themselves in harm's way, as far as I can tell, it doesn't actually happen in the real world. And the police talk as if you need us, we're the line of defense between you and all the bad people of the world. And I see no actual indication of that. Uh, yeah, on TV and in movies, you will get that impression. In real life, I see none of that. So I gave a few first-hand examples. Um, oh, another first-hand example was when I was uh, downtown at a smoke down protest where a bunch of unarmed hippies basically go out uh, in front of Independence Hall and smoke marijuana as a protest. And there they are, you know, peaceful. They're not doing anything except we're going to go do the civil disobedience thing and disobey. Um, I wasn't doing it. I don't smoke, but I was there seeing it. And out come a whole bunch of cowardly fascists dressed in riot gear for a bunch of unarmed hippies smoking pot and forcibly capture and, and, and arrest a few of them. Like, oh, you're so brave that you have to dress up like stormtroopers to arrest some unarmed hippies. Wow, you guys are such badasses. And you can actually see in their faces the, the cowardly... You know, they weren't even being big and bad. They're looking all nervous because they're wusses. And that is the reality as far as I've seen. Now, if you've seen something else, if you have actual evidence, if you have video evidence of cops actually being brave, I want to see it because I'm sure some are somewhere at some point. But what I've seen is cops being complete freaking cowards. Now, those are the examples I've seen firsthand. And I've gotten lots and lots of secondhand stories uh, some of them were from my brother, Sean, who used to clean a tavern after they closed, which of course was late at night because taverns are open late, and he would come home on a bicycle. Nine different times, the cops illegally detained and interrogated him and searched him and robbed him a couple times. No probable cause, no reason to think he was doing anything, uh, like good little power happy fascists. And they would always surround him and call in another car. So there's four armed people surrounding somebody who they have no reason to think is a threat. And they're acting like gang members because they are gang members. Cops become cops. Once upon a time, and maybe still every once in a while, cops join up thinking they're going to be the good guys. But as far as I can tell, more often than not, cops join the gang called law enforcement for the same reason people join other gangs because they're cowards who feel weak and they want to feel power over other people so they join a gang that has guns that gang up on people and threaten them and harass them. Now we come to the third hand experiences which is things like YouTube videos which are all over the place. Now I will acknowledge that that isn't necessarily a scientific sampling. It's a big country, there are a lot of people if you see a hundred videos of cops being fascist, doesn't mean they're all being fascists. However, if you see a hundred videos of them being cowards and zero of them actually doing something brave, that might kind of be an indication of what they're really like. And completely aside from the fact that it's anecdotal evidence, there are some very telling things that show that cops are not brave. They're not even up to the bravery of average people. A, a huge example is, I know a lot of gun owners, and I am a gun owner. All of them, all of them understand that there is a rule that you do not point a loaded gun at somebody unless you have the justification to kill that person and unless you intend to kill that person. Every gun owner I know understands that and abides by it except cops who constantly violate that law because they're freaking cowards. You can go online and see any number of videos and pictures of cops pointing guns at people. That is a death threat. And every gun owner I know knows you don't do that. If you're not justified in killing somebody, you do not point a gun at them. Cops do it all the time. 
and there are hundreds of YouTube videos you can see. There's one picture in, in particular that just makes me sick to my stomach of some guy in a car, both hands on the wheel, stopped, and some stupid fascist pointing an AR-15 in his face at a traffic stop. That is a freaking coward. And amazingly, recently a video came out where there's a guy filming uh, a confrontation between cops and the guy. Now the guy filming isn't the one in trouble, and he's just filming it. And the cop shows up and he's instantly pointing a gun at the guy with the camera. And the guy, despite being terrified for good reason, fearing for his life, because, oh great, another chance for a piggy to shoot somebody, he has the presence of mind to suddenly get all profound and he says, this is just a man talking to a man. You know, forget the gun and the badge. You're just, you're pointing a gun at me and I'm standing here not doing anything. You're a freaking coward. And he calls the cop a coward and he's absolutely right. Oh, and he even says, I'm not doing anything. And the cop says, I know, just get on the ground until I know what's going on. So he's doing a death threat to somebody he knows didn't do anything wrong. He admits, you didn't do anything wrong. I'm just going to point this gun at you until you bend to my will and everybody grovels on the dirt and the guy wouldn't lie down. Uh, luckily, he didn't shoot him. And then another piggy shows up and is pointing his gun at people. They do this all the time. They're trained to do this all the time to point, at, point guns at people. And in a way that every other gun owner I know understands, you do not do that. And they don't do that, but cops do. Why? Because cops are freaking cowards. Because they would rather endanger the life of some stranger with no justification than put themselves in harm's way to protect the innocent. They don't put themselves in harm's way. They're freaking cowards. And you can also see videos, you know, on TV, they're the first to charge into a building and save the day and rescue the innocent from the nasty people. In real life, when there's an active shooter, a lot of times you'll see cops outside hiding behind their cars. Well, we're not going in, it's dangerous in there. And statistically, as much as they say, this is a dangerous job, and uh, no it isn't. Statistically, being a construction worker is way more dangerous than being a cop. Same thing with firemen and, and a bunch of other professions. Look it up online, see the statistics. If you judge the bravery and the nature of the job and what cops do by watching TV, yeah, you'll think they're brave and courageous and awesome people. If you judge it by what you see in the real world, you'll see they're just cowardly gang members. And sometimes that's just so damn obvious. Like in the Dorner incident that happened out in California, where an ex-cop shot some other ones and was threatening to do that, and the cops there were literally shooting at random vehicles that kind of looked like the guy's car. And in one or two cases, didn't even look like the guy's car. They were randomly shooting at people, completely careless, completely negligent, in a way that if any other gun owner did that, they would be arrested. But the cops do it because they're freaking cowards, which is why they point guns at people at the drop of a hat and shoot people at the drop of a hat. And that brings up a thing that, it only occurred to me fairly recently, that you see all these videos of cops shooting people. First of all, there are a lot of them. And whether it's, there's one down in Florida where there's a guy running away and a cop shoots him in the back. He's unarmed and he's running away and they shoot him in the back. And then there's all the things of, well, he pulled out his wallet and we thought it was a gun. Um, I mean, cops constantly lie under oath about what happened. I mean, I can't even count how many videos I've seen where here is their sworn statement of what happens and then the video comes out and shows the cop totally lied his ass off. Happens constantly all over the place. But in a lot of these videos that involve sh uh, cops shooting people, and I only just recently noticed the significance of this, you'll see the guy like standing there, like there's a guy with a knife in, in Kansas City who was like 15 feet away and staggering around. Obviously, he was drugged out of his mind on something, and the cop shoots him. But what usually happens in these videos is one cop takes a shot. And half a second later, there's a barrage of shots from all the cops in the area. Now, if you ask me if there's somebody with a knife and somebody just shot him, my first response is not, I'm going to shoot him too. My response is, whoa, he got shot. That should kind of settle the situation out for now, I would think. Or somebody got shot in the back running away, and then a bunch of cops unload their guns into him. And I don't know why it took me so long to notice this is policy. 
It is police policy that if your fellow cowardly gang member just shot someone for no good reason, you as a fellow pig are supposed to shoot him too. It doesn't matter if there's justification, doesn't matter if there's a threat. You shoot him too, first of all, so he dies and can't say what actually happened. And second of all, so your fellow pig doesn't get in trouble for doing what none of the people around him did and has to explain why he shot somebody when nobody else did. So they all join in like the cowardly pansies they are and gun down innocent people because they're freaking cowards. Two more things to consider. You know, there's tons of videos and stories coming out all the time now of cops shooting dogs. They show up at somebody's house, oh, a dog barked at me. It could be a little dog like barking from 50 away, feet away. Oh, I shot it because I was in fear for my safety. Really? You're such a brave badass that you have to shoot a little doggy from 50 feet away because you were scared for your safety. No, it's because you're a freaking coward. And it's the same reason they're so trigger happy and are so paranoid and so quick to, to shoot at other people. Uh, statistically, cops shoot the wrong person at a way higher rate than average citizens with guns shoot the wrong person because they're paranoid, trigger happy cowards. If you're actually brave, then you take the time to make sure that you only shoot at people who you should actually shoot at. Cops don't do that. They behave like cowards. For all their weaponry and their tough gang and their ability to call in backup so lots of their other gang members can show up, they're wusses. They're scared little pansies who will shoot you at the drop of a hat because they're cowards. Now. I know what people are going to say, well, you can't judge all police by what you see on videos. Will someone please show me a video of a cop arresting another cop who just shot an innocent person? Why aren't there any videos of that? For all the cop shooting videos there are, watch the other cops in the video or the videos of cops beating the crap out of somebody who isn't even fighting back and then lying about it after the fact. You know, the Rodney King thing was huge, then Kelly Thomas, gang of complete cowards beat a guy to death who wasn't fighting back, who was no threat. And watch all the other cops standing there like complete freaking cowards. You tell me that we have brave men and women of law enforcement when in every single one of those videos of cops beating up an innocent person or shooting an innocent person, the best you can hope for is that the other piggies stand there and watch. And usually what happens is they join in the beating or they join in the shooting because they're gang mentality cowards. They are not brave. They are not what you see on TV. They join gangs for the same reason people join the Bloods and the Crips, because they're scared, they're insecure, they're a little psychotic, they want to have power over other people, but they're cowards, so they join together with other thugs, usually armed thugs, so they can lord power over others to make themselves feel like they're important and powerful. That is why cops become cops, and that is why there's so much evidence that they're total freaking cowards. Again, if you have evidence showing cops actually being brave, let me see it. I want to actually see evidence or even just describe it if you witnessed it. And if you've witnessed firsthand cops being complete freaking cowards, show that too. Seeing a lot of it, I keep seeing more every stinking day because it's everywhere. And for those of you who say, oh, it's just a few bad apples, show me the good apples who are doing something about it, please. Every once in a while, there'll be a story of some cop who says, this is wrong, I'm gonna speak out against it. And he gets death threats and he gets fired and sometimes he gets fired at. <laughs> that is what happens if you're in the gang called law enforcement and you try to do the right thing, which is why they only hire cowards and control freaks. Incidentally, I know several former cops who will say, who have told me they can't stand modern cops because they're all control freak, wussy, insecurity complex, bully bastards because that's who gets hired now. You know, I know some, some ex-cops who say, you know, we remember when there was such a thing as a peace officer. Our goal was to like settle things down and keep the peace, not fish for reasons to beat people up and steal their money. So yeah, now, 
It is not coincidence that cops are cowards and beat people up and, and do evil stuff. Um, yes, the job tends to attract uh, sociopaths, basically people who want power over others. It's just an invitation. I mean, the job description is, here, come, come work for us and you can boss people around and control them and take their money. You know, who do you think is going to be first in line for that job? It's the same with politicians. Boss your neighbors around and control them. Well, gee, are nice, gonna peop are nice people going to even want that job? But there's, there's a reason beyond that that people need to understand, um, and it's addressed in my book, The Most Dangerous Superstition, which shows why whoever you start with, whether they mean well to begin with, or whether they're power happy and insecure and, and just waiting to hurt somebody else, sadistic bastards to begin with, whoever it is, if you convince them that they are authority and you convince them they have the right to dominate other people, they are going to be way worse than they ever would be on their own. And I can't even count how many hundreds of YouTube videos demonstrate that principle in real life and demonstrate the cowardice that comes out when you give someone a gun and a badge and you, t and you tell him, not only do you have the right to control other people, it's part of your job when you show up on, in any scenario to make sure everybody bows to you. Disarm everybody, make them lie on the ground, tell them where to go, tell them when they can speak, you're in charge. As soon as somebody is trained to treat other people like that, he's gonna be an asshole, which is why Whatever they started out to begin with, although that's usual, usually sadistic sociopaths, cops will end up being chicken shit cowards.